Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast by Zan Tao of Reaper Products. This screencast will showcase how to use the space naming utility feature within Revit 2017. If you like this video and would like to see more, please search for Zan Ta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Autodesk Revit 2017. I'm in a standard Revit project based off a mechanical template file. When you're working with an architect who's using Revit and they send the model to you, you'll typically link in the Revit file. We'll select the file, set it to origin to origin, and click open. Now, uh, let's do this real fast. Let's head back to that architectural file. Uh, as the architect, they've created this model and they have all these rooms and they have the room names and numbers. I want to be able to create my Revit MEP model against this ARC model and input all of my spaces and not have to type in the names and numbers of each of the spaces because it can be cumbersome. <clears throat> so let's create a new mechanical project. We'll head over to the Insert tab. We'll link the file and hit Open. <coughs> Excuse me. Now that it's there, you want to select it and make sure under the Type Properties that Room Bounding is turned on. If you don't do this, then the Space Object and Room Objects don't understand the objects themselves and cannot get confined, if you will. <coughs> we'll head over to the Collaborate tab and head over to the coordinate panel and use copy monitors to select the link. Now that we are in the copy monitor command, we can copy everything that we need by just doing window crossing. Hit finish in the options toolbar and then hit finish again for the command. <clears throat> Ensure that you have select links is turned on under the modify command in the ribbon and that way um, you can select that link if you need to, like so. <coughs> now if we go over to the Analyze tab of the ribbon, there is the Space command. We can place our spaces and either do them individually like this, or click Place Spaces Automatically. They'll all get created, but they'll all be numbered, and they'll have uh, the just a generic name called Space. We don't want to have to go through the process of opening up the ARC model and writing everything down and then having to come back here to rewrite everything. So when you install Revit 2017 and you use the Autodesk desktop application, which is uh, located under Start, Programs, Autodesk, look for Autodesk desktop application. When you do this, this window will pop up. <clears throat> this is your tool to help you with making sure all of your Autodesk software on your particular machine is up to date. So what it does is it pings the web, uh, gets over to Autodesk's servers, and looks for any content that you have uh, based upon your existing installed Autodesk software. And if it finds anything, it'll tell you what it is, and you can click Install. I already have it installed, and so when you head over to the Add-ins tab, you'll see under the add-ins tab a space naming utility panel and in here there's the launch SNU tool. We click launch SNU and it'll ask you do you want to coordinate and transfer over basically the names and numbers or just the names or just the numbers or all the levels or a specific level. <clears throat> Since our architectural model only has one level, um, level one and level two and the data is only on level one, then it's just going to show you uh, all levels. If I choose specific, it's going to only going to show again just that level one. And I want the names and the numbers, so I want them to synchronize and match. So I'll hit OK, and it automatically transfers the names and the numbers over from the ARC model to this uh, Revit MEP model. Now there is no live link, if you will, between the name and the number that tag that you have here in the MEP model against the name and the tag of the ARC model. That would be neat to see. So if the architect decides to change <laughs> the name and the number of the room in their ARC model, you'll get a coordination alert as well. Uh, but unfortunately, coordination alerts only occur with 3D objects right now. Uh, and that's it. That's how you use the launch SNU space naming utility command within Revit 2017. Thank you very much for watching.